From the opening day parade to the crack of the bat, no other city celebrates baseball more than Cincinnati. After all, pro baseball began right here. And a century and a half later, baseball continues to be a hit. Bolstering our love of America's favorite pastime is our belief that baseball is a safe sport. The National Safety Council tracks injuries in sports and recreational activities for all ages, including the most serious injuries, the ones that send players to emergency rooms. In 2022, basketball was near the top of the list, sending players to the ER more than 313,000 times. Football was next, with more than 265,000 players going to the ER. Soccer players ended up in the ER more than 179,000 times. Baseball and softball barely made the top 10, with more than 136,000 trips to the ER. That's 56% fewer serious injuries than basketball, and nearly 50% fewer than football. But it's a surprisingly high number of serious injuries for a game we think of as safe. They say... Baseball is a safe sport. What do you say? It can be if it's done right. For David Irie, it went very wrong in 1989. Happened April 1st, yes, on April Fool's Day. David, a star baseball player in Lewis County, Kentucky, was trying to score during a high school game 35 years ago. The catcher was blocking the plate. So David launched himself headfirst into home plate. In an instant, triumph on the field turned to tragedy. I tried to go around him a little bit and uh, caught his shin guard and snapped my neck. Paralyzed since that moment, David now devotes his life to his foundation that funds spinal cord research and teaches young boys and girls safer ways to play ball, including how to slide safely. We do this so you guys won't make the same mistake. Are you saying never ever slide head first? Yes, I, and especially home plate. While catastrophic injuries like David's are rare, they do happen. According to data from Truvetta, baseball has the highest rate of face and head injuries of all sports, and the rate of concussions and traumatic brain injuries in baseball and softball are second highest. While much of our attention is rightly focused on preventing catastrophic injuries in contact sports like football, baseball carries risk. So if you thought baseball was a safe sport, you now know you're wrong. Just ask David Irie. There's no cure for a spinal cord injury. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you're always in the know.